Hey, good evening. John again, playing Immaculate Grid, going for low time, going for low rarity score. I'm playing grid number 428. We're back to doubles, and that's the number of career doubles hit by a Hall of Famer, Joe Maurer, uh, who I don't have occasion to use very often in Immaculate Grid, but I do have frequent occasion to use Mr. Ruben Zira, who also had 428 career doubles. So we'll play uh, this game in honor of those gentlemen. Uh, Ruben Zira is... Uh, Always there, Freddie. Several combinations of teams. He's a sneaky Tiger pick, sneaky Reds pick. Uh, played some time with the Yankees, Mariners. His more obvious ones are the A's and the uh, the Rangers. Actually, Yankees might be a little bit obvious since it's a high profile team. Anyway, let's share the screen. Let's play. This was Grid seventy five. Deleting, playing, hit and go, and away we go. All right, that's going to be Hunter Pence. And that's Jim Tome. Uh, let's see, let's go Brad Lidge. And down here, uh, Candy. Oh, let's go Belt so I can save. Probably don't need to. Uh, let's see. Joe Carter works for these teams. And let's see, 30 saves in a season. Koch works. Yep. And then uh, let's see. Let's get Marischal here. Gaylord Perry here. And Eckersley. Spelled properly here. For a 58 second 136 rarity, where I used a lot of the more common ones. Brand Belt, Hunter Pence, Jim Tome. Um, or Tome. I don't know. I've heard it both ways. So that one I'm not as uh not sure about. But uh all right. Jonathan Papelmon, as I wrote in my book, is the all-time Phillies leader in saves, which is bizarre to think about. Um, and I believe Jose Mesa is second, so maybe he's the guy I go with there. Tom Henke leading the way. Um, all right. Let's hit stop. Let's hit reset. Stop, share, reshare. Bring up grid 75. Let's see, that would have been that would have been the uh timed round, but I had some low rarities. All right, now we've got this one pulled up. Let's see, let's hit a uh, Harvey Keen. Well, he's seems to me that one doesn't do as well. Let's do a uh, Roberto Hernandez. Point two. Then over here, Cleveland and Philadelphia. Seems to me Michael Jackson will work here. Pretty solid closer. So I'm I could go for like an all closers deal if I can come up with because I can easily get these. Cleveland and uh, Toronto. It's going to be a no on BJ Ryan, who, who would work here. Might be a good pick, actually. Uh, Dwayne Ward uh, will work over here. Can I come up with anyone who played for Philadelphia who was a reliever? Or excuse me, for Cleveland who was a reliever. Um. Not specifically coming to mind. There's no Timlin combinations. He's a good one to use. Quantrill's another one. So I might, uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not seeing the combinations. Doesn't mean they don't exist. It just might mean I'm missing them. Um. All right. Well, we can go. Uh, Mike Matheny over here played a season in Toronto. Finished with San Francisco. He's point one. Uh, Jack Morris uh, was the opening day starter for the 1994 Cleveland Indians. So that's a potential option we could use there. 
having uh, just pitched for the Toronto Blue Jays before that. Um, let's see. Far, how advanced do I want to go with the uh, the Giants here? Go Rob Nen, Rod Beck will both work. Um, how about uh, John Montefosco? I think that's right. Yeah, rookie of the year winner. He's a little bit higher. That's all right. And I know this one works because I've done it before and I got lucky the time this is a previous grid I played um, I played Mike Jackson who played all of a few innings with Cleveland I confused him and Michael Jackson um, I could have sworn Michael Jackson was referred to as Mike Jackson while he was playing um, in any event let's just get both guys on here because I know he works that's a nice low rarity score and it works for Kansas City in case you want to Save that one for later. Uh, let's see. Donaldson works, right? He played a little bit in Cleveland. Not going to go with him. Not going to go with Encarnacion. That would be too obvious as well. Um, Tony Fernandez would work, but that's not more you know too obvious the other way because he's very well known for the Blue Jays. Had a couple stints there. Three stints, I believe, actually. No, four stints. I should have included him in my uh, re-return chapter. I'm I'm just thinking about this. I'm thinking about my book and Tony Fernandez uh, started with the Blue Jays in the nineties uh, and they went back to the Blue Jays. He was traded back to the Blue Jays for the 93 uh, playoff push. Um, so he did get a ring with them having been the blue chip, one of the blue chip uh, trade pieces in a blockbuster trade being traded along with Fred McGriff in exchange for Roberto Alomar and um, Joe Carter. Um, all, all these guys have come up. Um, anyway, he, he played the 97 season with Toronto. I, I think he'd be too high. He'd be a bit too high. So I don't want to go that way. Um, yeah, but Morris is on the table. I don't think Jamie Wright makes his way to uh, Toronto, so we're not going to go that route. Um, certainly Hafner never played for Toronto. Um, Jeff Kent would work. I think he hits both teams. I want to try him out. Let's see how he does. Okay, sub one would have been higher here. All right. And now let's see here. 30 saves in a season, sub three ERA. How about we go with 2005 Derek Trumbo? Who remembers that season? Majestic hair. Was an all-star in 2006 and then promptly, promptly imploded. Point one. I had a blurb in my book comparing Turnbow's collapse in uh, 05 to Hater's collapse in 2022. But then Hater like, came back with a spectacular 2023 season with San Diego and got a $19 million a year contract. So that, that one doesn't really apply as much anymore. That's an example of something that didn't age well in my book. Uh, I guess I'll go Dwayne Ward. Let's see how he does. Five percent. All right. And then I don't know if Tug McGraw works. Back in the eighties, like an ace reliever would save about twenty-five games because they wouldn't necessarily close all the games they were coming into. Um, and the nineties didn't. I mean, I'm thinking of like, I'm trying to think who the the major relievers were for Philadelphia in the nineties, they get Jose Mesa at some point. Uh, they have Billy Wagner at some point, then Brad Lidge. 
I have to say someone else on the 09 team because Brad Lidge implodes, but I'm not remembering that person. Then Papelbon. Um, I don't actually know if Alvarado's ever saved 30 games. Kimbrell last year, maybe. All right. Um, I listed a bunch of names. Oh, Mitch Williams, 93. Okay, I just thought of that one. Snow White's Mitch Williams. He's on MLB Network still, I think. I'm going to go with Mesa. In part because I know Mesa works here. So let's try him out. Or if Michael Jackson, I know he was with Philadelphia. I wonder if he was closing games in Philadelphia. Anyway, let's try him out. 5%. So I got 5% on these two guys and then did uh, real well on the others. I guess I got 1.3 here and then I was really low on the others. So comes out to a 12. I'll take it. I will take it. Well, thanks so much for playing and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace.